Nerdy Unreal Dev here with a quick little tutorial on a little quirk Unreal has. Now, anyone who's tried to light a scene with a variety of lights has probably seen these little X's show up. What's going on here? Basically, Unreal uh, has these little settings for lights, static, stationary, and movable. And it gives a little pop-up if you hover over it about which one. A static light can't be changed in game. Fully baked lighting and the rendering is the fastest. And a stationary light will only have its shadowing and bounce lighting from static geometry baked by light mass. All other lighting will be dynamic. It can change color and intensity in game. Can't move allows partially baked lighting and dynamic shadows from movable objects. And movable lights can be moved and changed in game, totally dynamic, whole scene dynamic shadows, but slowest rendering. One thing Unreal does not tell you is only so many stationary lights are able to intersect at one point. The magic number here seems to be five. So, Got these little red X's. All that means is you just need to start changing some lights from stationary to static. And what I just did here is I selected one, held down shift, and then selected all the way at the bottom. And in just one go, you can change all of these to static. Change this little point light. And then we do what we do with Unreal, build lighting only. Uh, and of course, uh, depending on your scene, you may want to leave some of these lights as stationary. But if, say, you're just doing a still scene, uh, you'll want most of these to be static. It's also more static lights versus stationary is easiest, but I could but all it is, is it's a matter of intersecting. So another way of dealing with that is if I just turn these all back to stationary, but then made, say, the attenuation radius uh, smaller. For these lights. Then that should reduce the difficulty, but then you get don't get the range. So yeah, see those little red X's? Basically go through, see what's intersect. You can either go through, see what's intersecting what, and turn off stationary as need be, or just go through and make it all static. This has been another episode of Nerdy Unreal Tutorials.